Once upon a time, I decided to construct social network of white run inhabitants. And this is the result. First of all, white run can't be imagined without two families, Grey Main and Battleborn. And during the game they're in the position of each other. Both families include six in-game members. But balance is shifted to the Grey Mains. Jorlund is the blacksmith. He is close to the companions, but not part of them. Unlike his elder brother, Vignar Greymane, who is the oldest living companion and may become Jarl in the future. In that case, he will appoint his friend Bril as steward and his niece Alfina as housecarl, and a certain Sinmir will be promoted to the head of the guard position. Also, Vignar patronizes Talos priest Heimskr. By the way, Alfin and Greymain is connected to the major fractions in the city, excluding uh, her clan and the companions. She tied with the tavern visitors as she worked there and even with the battleborns because of romantic affairs with Yon. The Greymains have great connections and opportunities. In addition, Vignar has more friends and followers than Ulfrid. The Battleborns are just rich and support the Empire and the Yarl, but it seems they are not directly his clients. In defense of their order, I can say that the Lars Battleborn had the most friends. It's just funny. What else conclusions can be drawn? Why Trans social network is balanced with the game nuances? The city has the headquarters of the Guild of Fighters, if we call the companions that way. Some townspeople have connections with the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. White Run uh, has the supporters of both the Empire and the Rebels. Uh, there are 30 people having at least one relative in the city. It's uh, very good for a gaming settlement. There are few unconnected people. In fact, they are only a mercenary Genasa and the famous Lydia, and both can travel with the main character. It's nice that even simple NPCs are woven into the social tissue. What do you think? In the next video another Skyrim city. 